So welcome everyone to uh, the Monday meeting. Um, we're going to meet today. We're starting today. Um, 30 minutes later, we're going to try to um, to try something different. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to try to move this meeting from 60 minutes to just 30 minutes and or less, uh, whatever uh, you know, as much time as we need every week to talk about the things that we want to talk about. Um, so the idea is that we we make this shorter and it's easier to watch. So welcome everyone. Um, for today, um, we are gonna ha um, you're gonna have the status uh, updates on the Etherpad, and you know we're gonna go only through the important points on the Etherpad. And if you have any questions, you can always go to the support forums. Um, if you have any roundtable items, I think that this is the place to put them. If you think there's a discussion on the forums that hasn't got the attention that you wanted, uh, please drop it on the Etherpad because I think this is the moment where a lot of people are going to be here to answer to your questions. Um, and that's what we want to do uh, right now. Moving on, since we didn't have a lot of time to prepare, moving on, the idea is to make it possible for a lot of people to join us and to invite, uh, you know, every week or, uh, you know, as often as possible, contributor members to uh, introduce them, to show uh, what they're working on, to let them tell us a little bit about their, their, traje their trajectory on Sumo um, so that we can get a little bit more of an idea of uh, who is part of our community. So this is what we're going to do. Um, as I said, we gather a lot of feedback. Thank you, everyone who replied on the on the thread on the forum. Uh, for everyone who put their uh, thoughts on the Etherpad uh, and the ones who uh, answered to our survey, we had quite quite some different uh, uh, ways to give uh, feedback. And here we are. So I I, I guess that we can start today with the uh, important uh, updates. Um, is is anyone, does anyone want to start with something that, um, that you think is so important that it should be, uh, we should talk about it instead of just having it on the Etherpad? Let's say, Kadir, do you have something from the Sumo development updates? Uh, yes, absolutely. So this is um, something that I'm pretty sure that everybody will be interested in. Uh, and you, you can already see the announcement in the UX section of the um, Etherpad. We are working on um, a new UI for the uh, listings page of the forum. Uh, so, you know, last week we talked about the different statuses that we want to give uh, questions so that we have a better understanding of what needs our attention. Um, now we are also talking about how we want to present those statuses in the forum. Uh, so we are not talking about individual threads and uh, individual questions and how they look, but the actual presentation of the question listings. Uh, so if you follow the uh, URL in the Etherpad, you will get to a bug where we are currently discussing uh, this UI. And I'm sure that Madalena will also soon post about this in the forums uh, so that you can also participate there. Uh, but this is, right now, this is a huge thing for us. Uh, and we would like to land this as soon as possible, as soon as we have feedback from everybody who is currently contributing in the forums. Uh, to, so that we can take that into account before we actually go ahead and implement this. Uh, but this is absolutely something that I'm very, very excited about. Okay, that, that sounds great. So I think um, if, you, if you are a forum contributor and if you have ideas or objections to what we're doing, please don't hesitate, hesitate to contact Kadir, Madalena, or use the forums to give us uh, your feedback and help us test. Right. Actually, I should also mention one other thing uh, where I'm not quite sure, but uh, we are also going to implement the Shofar code that has been demonstrated two weeks ago. Uh, it's uh, almost ready to be integrated, but it still needs testing. Uh, so we are trying to figure out uh, how exactly we want to test that and then share this with the community uh, as soon as possible. So I'm pretty sure that we will need some help testing this too. Um, it shouldn't uh, actually change much uh, in day-to-day -day life, uh, but uh, hopefully, we, we can get this implemented this week with the help of the community. Uh, so watch out for that. Fantastic, okay. uh, Kadir. I'm just I'm just um, editing the Etherpad. Maybe we can introduce after the development updates a section that's called testing uh, need uh, testing help needed, um, so that we have a part in our Etherpad where we uh, call out specifically the help that we need in terms of testing. Right? Yeah, that would be awesome. So we already have a, a, a call to action for the community in terms of, you know, this is what we want to test and help us there. Yeah. 
Cool. Uh, I don't have anything yet, uh, but as, as soon as we've figured out how to test this, uh, I'll definitely make sure to, to post this here, but also on the phone. Okay, perfect. Um, so uh, thanks a lot for, for the updates, Kadir. Um, I see on the round table, we don't have um, yet any, uh, any questions, uh, but I see, Michael, that you posted uh, your blog post. Um, so I would definitely urge people to uh, look at Michael's post. Do you want to say something about it, Michael? Uh, well, most of it's all in the vid. There's two videos in the post, um, especially the first one. Go look at that. So this will um, this will affect Sumo in a kind of um, hopefully like side benefit way when uh, the new version of Firefox comes out. We'll show people um, a tour of what's new. Uh, so uh, this is uh, updating users. Um, so it'll teach them about some new features. It'll teach them about some existing features and hopefully um, as one of the side benefits, um, people will just know a little bit more about how Firefox works and how the new things work and we'll have less questions um, or issues with it. Okay, that, that sounds great. Michael, by the way, thank you for posting it on the blog and especially for making the video so it's much easier to understand uh, what we're working on. That sounds great. Um, so, as I said, I don't see a lot uh, on the round table right now. Uh, oh, I just see that we have a contributor uh, uh, joining us, Centurion. Hello, thanks for joining us. Um, we're just going through the, uh, through the updates. Um, I think that Firefox for desktop and OS uh, wouldn't have any special updates. Uh, Roland, I saw you, you wrote something for Android. Is there anything you would like to call out in the, um, in the meeting or, or are they updates? Oh yeah, just a quick one. Um, if, if you're in Canada, Germany and Japan, Kobo mm -hmm. two weeks ago or a week ago launched Firefox for Android as part of their built-in, so they call it pre-bundling built into the Kobo tablet. So check it out uh, if you have a Kobo tablet. That's it. Okay, cool. Then that's, uh, maybe we could put that, uh, uh, Roland, in the help, help needed for, uh, uh, section. Maybe I should oh, put it okay, at the end. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move that section to the end of the ether path, right, right next to the action items, right? Okay. Um, so that we have it there and, and we can post that. Great. That sounds great. Um, um, for the metrics, Kadir, do you think there's something that we should talk about in terms of metrics? Anything for this week? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, one thing that you might have noticed is that uh, in, the, in the questions uh, graph, things are not looking uh, that well. We are thinking that is related to the um, uh, issues that we have in, the, in, in responsivity of the site. Uh, so currently, there are some performance issues on the side. It's the highest priority for our developers working together with the web ops, uh, but it's, it's a really difficult thing to figure out apparently. Um, so it, it doesn't show up all the time. Uh, it builds up over time, so we have to wait for, for the issues to occur so that we can actually monitor what's going on. Um, so this has been an issue since uh, last week already, uh, and since okay. then they've been uh, giving this the highest priority. Uh, but until we have this figured out, uh, there will be cases where people wait for 20 seconds for a page to load. And of oh. course, uh, that, that's not great for engagement, uh, not for users, but also not for our contributors. Um, so that could be an effect of, um, the graphs could be an effect of that. It's very... Okay. Is there? Do you need any help? Any, you know, like? I yeah. I was just talking to Ricky about this. Whether there were, there was anything that we could do uh, to make this go faster, but really they are doing whatever they can. Like there is, at this point, there's nothing that we can do. We just wait for them to fix this. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So everyone, if you see the page is going a little slowly, uh, you know, hang with us. <laughs> uh, our super Sumo development team is working as fast as they can on this. So. Um, let me see, let's go on. The metrics, uh, help desk, uh, this is very exciting. We have someone new, Rachel. So Patrick, I will give the word to you and then to Rachel. Hey guys, I wanted to introduce you all to Rachel McGowan. Um, she's working out of the Mountain View office. She's our new help desk rep. 
Uh, and when we get the escalated feature uh, into the forums, you'll probably be hearing from, from her a lot uh, more. Uh, but she's already been digging in and answering some stuff on the forums. So, uh, Rachel, if you want to take a second and say hi to everybody. Sure. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Rachel. Uh, like Patrick said, I'm based in Mountain View. Um, I'll be working a lot with the help desk and getting to know uh, some of the partners and the um, a lot of the contributors. So, if you have any advice or any um, thing you anything you want to see from the help desk, please feel free to reach out to me, and I'm, I'd be happy to um, to accommodate that and in the in the new role and getting ramped up on specializing in the uh, products that you guys work on. So, awesome. Great. Great, awesome. Rachel. Very, very welcome to the team. I have a, I have a question. And so, let's say I'm a contributor and I'm working currently on the forum. How mm -hmm. am I gonna see you, Rachel? And when do, when can I ask you tricky questions? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, um, currently, they're, uh, they're Patrick's implementing the escalate uh, tag. So you put, you just put in escalate in the tag on one of the, um, on one of the questions, and it automatically creates a help desk ticket. Um, and then we'll see it, we'll, we'll go through it, and then we'll come up with a response with the uh, appropriate SLA. Uh, and if there's a tricky question, um, hopefully um, the questions that don't get answered, you know, those will come up in a filtered response that I'll be monitoring throughout the day. Um, but even if you, you're more than welcome to private message me too. Um, I, I, I try to I'm trying, I'm trying to have the hand on all pulses and channels, so if there's anything that I miss, please feel free to just shoot it in a private message towards me if I miss it. Okay, that, that sounds great. Thank you, Rachel. So everyone, you know, uh, now we, we have this escalation uh, path, um, so you can throw balls at Rachel. I'm sure you can throw balls at the community back, Rachel. The, our community is great, and we have really like uh, troubleshooting ninjas out there, so <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> you can also uh, talk to them now that you're getting to know all our products and everything. They're very helpful, and I'm sure they, they would love to, to help you. So welcome, and, and everyone, just, you know, uh, Rachel's going to be helping us, so I'm very excited about it, Rachel. Yeah, welcome, Rachel. It's very exciting. You asked if, you, if, if we had any advice for you. My only advice, really, would be to keep that smile that you have. That's <laughs> awesome. It's it's a, it's a great addition to the team. So welcome, excited to see how how you will kick some serious support ass together with us. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, yeah. Um, so the next on the list, uh, the body uh, um, and the community updates. Um, so um, I'm I'm just going to tell you a little bit what what is going to change uh, with the body program. So we decided to go back. We had the we had a, a Google form, and we were trying to get people through this Google form, but we, we thought that um, it's actually very hard because everything happens in private, and people don't realize that we're, we have a, like a whole foreign platform. So we'll be trying something new um, in the body uh, for the body uh, program. Um, you will be seeing soon a body forum um, within our contributor uh, forums, and in that forum, um, we're gonna we're gonna uh, lead every user interested or every new contributor interested in contributing to Sumo to create a new thread on that body forum. So we, we put it there so that we don't we don't put a lot of noise in our usual contributor forums. So only if you're interested in in helping new contributors and in doing some community building, you can go to the body forum and you can pick up new contributors and guide them through through Sumo. And the idea is that we're going to have this uh, transparently. So each new uh, contributor trainee, as we, uh, as we call them, will have their own thread. So you can go and, and answer and you can see what other contributors has, have answered already. And if someone's not answering, their thread will go down. And if someone's very active, their thread will go up. So we think this is a very good way to start onboarding people. And we're going to do it uh, contained in the buddy forum uh, so that we don't spam you if you're uh, watching all our forums. Um, but if you're interested in helping new contributors, uh, that's the way uh, that it's going to be. So as soon as everything, all the, the flow is implemented, um, I will let you guys know. Um, but it's just so, for, so that you know, if don't 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 panic if you see a new forum uh, that gets a lot of new threads uh, uh, on Sumo. And of course, when it's there, uh, don't hesitate to go and help some new users. Uh, I think that's uh, that's going to be good. 
Um, so that's that's it for the for the for the body program. Um, I have um, um, Centurion. Are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, I am here. Hello. Yeah. So there you go. We have uh, we, uh, we have uh, Ashikur. Uh, he's from Bangladesh, and he has been helping us with the body uh, program, right? Yes. Uh, so can can you tell us? Uh, you were working on the on the welcome pack, right, with Surit? Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, can you? Can you tell us a little bit of uh, you know what you were doing there? Ah, I'm just uh, making those uh, welcome packs. Like uh, I'm thinking about the some some kind of the presentation for the newcomer. How can they contribute on the sumo project? Uh, like videos or those uh, popcorn videos, so they can be localized in their local language. Yeah, that, that so sounds that great. I have think up to now, I'm talking with Surit, uh, so we can figure more thing about it. That's great. Uh, so as you see, the, the buddy program is progressing and we have a lot of initiatives that come di directly from our community. And so thank you, uh, Ashikur and, and Surit for, for, for helping us. Uh, Yay. Yeah, and Surit, I want to mention Surit is from Nepal. So uh, it's very cool. So we have someone from Bangladesh, I'm from Nepal, and we're working on those welcome packs for the new contributors. So thanks a lot for, for doing that. And great that you came here and that we could see your face. We always uh, love to have contributors here. Great. Um, so I'm going to go further to Michael. Michael, do you want to talk about the knowledge base? Um, the, just what's written there, um, updates for Firefox 26 um, set to be localized. There's more updates for click to play plugins coming. I'm trying to sh straighten out what the actual, how it's going to actually work because they're changing it in beta right now. So uh, I hope to connect with uh, the developers on it and get it figured out this week. Cool, thank you. Is there anything that you think is going to be uh, very important for, you know, knowledge base contributors or localizers in terms of, you know, hard articles or a lot, lot of things to do? Or how do how would you rate 20, uh, Firefox 26 in terms of updates? Well, I mean, just that, that, that whole thing where we're going to make all plugins except the latest Flash click to play, um, that's a big unknown, right? Um, I, it could be just fine. There's like weirdness. So like if you go to Netflix uh, and you don't know about this and you go to watch a movie, the whole you'll get this whole gray screen and it'll say um, activate Silverlight. Um, maybe it's not clear to some people that you have to click to actually activate it. That once you do this one time, it's done. You don't have to keep doing it on Netflix every time you want to watch a movie. It'll save that preference. That kind of thing. So um, there could be a lot of questions with that. Hopefully uh, that's the idea of the article. I think I'll have to change the name. We have an article that's called uh, Why Do I Have to Click to Activate Plugins? Probably needs to have things like Netflix or, or whatever in the name of it. Like why do I have to click to play movies right. on Netflix and Apple trailers or what all the Google or those kinds of things in the title or something. Okay, cool. Th thank you, Michael. So if you see those questions, you know, Michael worked on that article and I saw, I, I saw the list of the articles that we have to update in terms of localization and this time it's not so many. So um, uh, I hope that will be, that you will get a, a break from all the current uh, uh, updates. Because the big list is coming. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> the Australis <laughs> list Michael has been, uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's been, been warning us about it for like, what, half a year now? Yeah. I know, Michael. <laughs> but but it's landing in nightly right now, or it just did, so it's coming for real. <laughs> so it's for real. Yeah. Okay, so everyone everyone gets. Okay, so so that the, those are the the updates. As I told you, Elton and same thing. Local, localizers. We have some article uh, some updates, but not as many. Um, a little update. Kadir and I were working on a project that's called What Should I Be Working On Next? Um, so I will be posting some questions for you in the forum so that we understand a little bit better uh, what you need uh, from the dashboard and we have some ideas of uh, how we want to make it and we would love to get your feedback on those um, so that you know what you should be working on next uh, and so we would love to have your um, uh, your feedback on that. Um, 
Yeah, um, for the support forum, um, I think that Madalena couldn't make it today. As far as I know, uh, everyone's doing a great job in the support forum. And as Kadir said, we have a bunch of very interesting new features coming, so keep your eyes open. And keep your eyes open for Rachel. Uh, she might need some time, uh, some, some of your help to, uh, with, the, you know, with your extensive experience. Um, but things are going well. So with that, we can go to the contributors of the week. Why, guys, is the list empty? You have to fill this list. <laughs> <laughs> so Ashikur, tell me, tell me, who, who do you want to nominate this week? Uh, if from Bangladesh, I will nominate Safwan Rahman uh, because he has helped me about localizing six articles within two weeks. Oh, great! What? Yeah, you can you can put it in the Etherpad. Just just put his name. Okay. That, that would be great. So, yeah. Yeah. Give me a second. I am adding his name. Ah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, someone else, Michael, Kadir, David, Hermina. Do you want to no uh, nominate someone? I, I was off uh, working on that uh, update tour all last week, so uh, I've, I have I'm way behind on email, and I have no idea what people did. I was going to say the same. I, and I was traveling last week, and then I took Friday off, so I feel completely, I'm blanking. <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll prepare better for next week. One of the things that we're aiming to do for you guys, because this is one of the things that we heard from the feedback, is that we need to prepare this Etherpad in advance so that you guys can actually see it and ask your questions in the round table. Um, so that's something we're going to be working on. Uh, I would like to nominate Ashikur. Sorry, I, I, I always write your name uh, wrong. Uh, I, the CK, no problem. Uh, I always put it wrong. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank no problem. Because, and sorry, it's because you both guys have been uh, working over the weekend and taking the initiative with the, with the buddy meeting. Um, also, uh, Jay is working, no, Amit is working on the next regional uh, sumo meeting uh, with the Asian community. Um, so thank you guys. I, I'm really happy to see a lot of, um, of initiatives coming right from the community. And I think that this is the place for you guys to come. So on Mondays, I would love to have more of you and you know, all our contributors coming and telling us what they're doing. Um, I think that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. Great. So I, I, I do see a couple of names now. So uh, I, I think that's great. We still have five minutes. Um, I hope that the next meeting, I'm not going to be all doing all the talking. It's more you guys come and put your questions, and we try to answer them. Um, do you have any okay, more I have questions? A question. yes. uh, there is a webmaker uh, localization, a knowledge base in the Sumo. Uh, so can mm -hmm. we put it on the uh, contributor dashboard so contributor can localize them? For the, those, uh, because we have only Firefox topics on the dashboard. Yeah. So, just see those Firefox topics. So it, mm. it will be good for us if we can put the WebMaker and Firefox web things there. So contributor I, can easily localize them. Uh, that's really a, a great point, Ashikur. I can tell you, I, I personally asked Jacob from the WebMaker team to not set the articles ready for localization. Because right now, if you set things ready for localization, it gets sent to all the contributors. So we're working on this uh, notification to tell people that you know you don't have to to localize those articles. Um, we we have to figure that out. Uh, but actually, you can go on and and translate them. They're just not on the um, on the dashboard probably. Uh, but yeah, it's I a know. great point. I, I think that that we should we should start working on that. I, I mean I mean like we just did it because we didn't want to spam everyone. Um, but I think it's a great point. Let's start a thread in the forum and ask the, you know, our contributors if it's okay if we start setting the webmaker content ready for localization, so that people don't be don't feel the pressure that it, they also need to um, to localize that. Is it a problem if web, web, the webmaker product itself isn't localized? Like I think it's not in all languages yet. It's only in no the webmaker is in on, in all languages. It is. And uh, just um, we have just started to localize them. The MOSFEST, yes, Michael, for, for MOSFEST, they, they started, they did this initiative where WebMaker was translated in a bunch of uh, languages. So okay. you're totally right, you know, we should start localizing uh, support content after we have the product localized. Um, but I think we need to sort it out. So thank you, Ashikur. I think that's a great point and we should address it so that we uh, 
start making uh, web maker localizations uh, on Sumo um, without giving too much work to our uh, faithful Sumo contributors, but also you know bringing some new people from the web maker community, which is a very uh, dynamic and and very cool community. So I will put that on my to-do uh, items. Um, that is great. So yeah, I don't know if anyone has any other any other questions regarding this, or if you want to say something. Well, I think it's uh, we just did our meeting in just 25 minutes, so I think this is going to be easier to watch for anyone interested. Uh, as I said, <laughs> next time I hope I will I won't do all the talking. Uh, it will be more your questions. And thanks, you know, this is the type of conversations that we should be having. Just come here, drop your questions, and and we can figure it out. Also, if you have tough questions on the support forum and you just want to come here and tell, you know, like I've been trying to work on this and it's not working, and you know, you want to talk it face to face, and you don't want to go to the forum. I think this is the, the place where you should be coming uh, to talk with the Summa team. Um, so yeah, um, it was great. Uh, I'll see you, uh, we'll see you next week. We're going to start 30 minutes later uh, from now on. Uh, let's see if that works well. As I know we have a lot of contributors from India. We can, we can maybe reconsider going back 30 minutes um, so that we can include people from those time zones. Um, I would love that. That would be great. Okay. Okay, so it seems to be that maybe we will we will start again at uh, you know at our usual time, and this was just an exception. Uh, but thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, this was just uh, our first attempt at making these meetings a little quicker. Um, if you have any feedback, please keep it coming, and see you again in one week. And it's okay to use that thread still if you ha have feedback about the absolutely, format. Absolutely, absolutely. Just Perfect. go on and 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 use that thread. Thanks Fantastic. everyone, and thanks okay. Rosanna. Bye. Great meeting. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Thank bye you bye. Guys. Have All a right. great day. Bye bye. Great bye. week. Okay, bye.